Is buying magic from Costco actually worth it? Well, today we're gonna crack open this new deluxe commander kit, which is super big, and try to find out. So this deluxe commander kit, way too big for my close-up <laughs> recording setup, but uh, as you can see, sort of, uh, basically, uh, we're gonna open this up anyway. If we flip it around, we get a description of what's in this box, which is a March of the Machines Commander Precon, three booster packs, a Commander Master Set Booster, a March of the Machines Set Booster, a Bloomboro Play Booster, and two promo cards. And uh, as we start cracking this open, um, this is $43.99, plus tax, of course. So I think with tax, you're looking at roughly around $50. So the question is, is this a, is this a good buy? So what do we get in here? So we get our three, wow, this is, I will say this is some high, oh, it's an actual commander pre-con. Okay, so the commander pre-con pops out. We'll uh, we'll set that there for now. Then we have these, uh, actually, let's knock that over for now. Oh, it opens this way, haha. -ha. You have to be uh, smarter than the packaging, which is a struggle for me. <laughs> but we're doing it, there we go. All right, there's an epic amount of cardboard for a small amount of, more valuable hopefully cardboard <laughs> so here's what we actually get out of this so there's a commander precon the siddhar jabari of zelfir commander precon we get a bloomboro play booster we get a commander masters play booster we get a march and machines set booster and then our two promo cards jay's memory adept and a johnny mentor of heroes i will say with these promo cards I mean, they're kind of in some ways disappointing. Like they're the art is the same, right? This is the the same art as the pack art. So essentially, the promo is exactly the same as a set foil, a, like a base set foil, except uh, you get the promo, the promo symbol. Neither card especially valuable or really that playable. Jace Memory Adept used to be very good when it was in standard. Uh, <laughs> the Mill Ten was an actual win con. A uh, Johnny Mentor of Heroes also saw some play in standard. Uh, Gaining 100 life, pretty cool if you can pull it off. They are cool cards and a nice little bonus, right? Like, <clears throat> Because of how promos work and the fact that everyone who buys this product is going to get one of the promos, uh, they never really maintain that much value because there's just so many of them floating around. But it's a nice little bonus if you buy this. So let's save the boosters for last because I think the boosters are going to be the most interesting part of this. The Commander Precon, we'll go through it real quick, but it is literally the Commander Precon, right? card for card brand new out of the box Siddhar Jabari is a pretty popular and powerful commander actually so if you're looking for a commander to play out of the box not the worst option I will also say I looked at the price of this <laughs> oh we get some nice little uh, plus one plus one counters it's kind of funny before before um oh look at that look at that spin down beautiful beautiful actually no that's not even what is that that's not a spin down. That's just a dice. What am I supposed to do with this dice? Huh. I am not sure. But uh, cool. <laughs> bonus. Bonus dice. Uh, here's the here's the life counter, of course. And then the commander pre-gun itself. Oh wait, what's in here? Oh! <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, we get one of the mini collector. Okay, this is where we make our money. I forgot these Commander Precons. They come with a mini collector booster, like one card collector booster. So we'll add that to our, our booster pile here. There's some uh, some planes if you want to play Plane Shift. Uh, don't usually play Plane Shift, but it can be fun once in a while. Another nice little bonus. The deck itself. So I was looking at the prices of this before this product came out. Uh, a Commander Precon, the Siddhar Jabari Commander Precon, was selling for like 50 or 60 bucks. Now that this has come out, and there's a bunch more on the market, they're like 35 bucks. But still, if you think about it, 35 bucks is almost, almost the whole price of this. We paid 43 plus tax, so it's 50 bucks. So essentially, we're getting the Commander Precon for like roughly the going rate. And then we get all these boosters and promos for free. So if you actually want the Siddhar uh, Jabari deck, seems like a good deal. Sadly, this deck, I looked it up beforehand. You get some Commander staples, right? Uh, Commander Sphere, Command Tower, Mana Crypt. No, no Mana Crypt. <laughs> Although pretty soon they... <laughs> they probably could put a mana crypt in here with its price dropping so much uh thanks to the mannings there's like three cards in here that have value which are adeline is like five dollars there's a couple of five dollar cards but still like the nice thing about getting commander precon like i said you get a bunch of playable cards like even though bajukabod command tower path to exile are not like expensive cards at this point in their life they're still very playable cards that 
Uh, actually, this is this is an expensive card. There's still very playable cards that you can use. Chivalric Alliance. This is the most valuable new card in the deck. It's actually like seven bucks or something. Whenever you take your two or more creatures, draw a card, and then you can pay two to discard a card to make a two-two white and blue knight creature token. So that's one of the one of the wins. So that's like seven bucks. The other wins here. Mm. Ethers Warren Adjudicator is such a cool card. Not especially playable. This is when Mythics used to used to feel pretty mythic. Hero Blade Hold is like three or four bucks. So that's a that's a win. And then Adeline, because of uh, constructed play in modern, pioneer, standard, formerly, uh, is also still valuable. And then we get to the best part of every pre con. <laughs> the mana base. Ooh, Hakan's in here. Hakan's such a cool card. One of the most unique designs. Hakan is just so cool. Actually, maybe I just keep this deck and play with it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just add some good lands to this deck and I have a new commander deck. I'm gonna do Soul Ring, a sword, Sir Conrad. So yeah, that's the that's the commander precon. But really value wise, you get a bunch of like playable stuff, but then you get these three cards are, are really the winners. So those are the the money cards from the deck itself. Uh Seems like a reasonable buy. Then we have the two promos, which are not really worth anything, but they're cool. Let's open up our, our bonus. So if you buy a Commander Precon, you get this weird bonus one-card collector boost. I believe it's a one-card collector booster pack. It's like a sample collector booster pack. Maybe it's like two cards. I don't remember. Well, we'll see. We'll see as we crack this open. Uh, but there could be value in here. What do we... Is it really two? Looks like two card, Three cards, but one's a promo. All right. So first... Or one's a uh, token. First, we get the token. Not worth anything. Card number two, March of the Machines, Collector Booster, Galta and Maverin. Non-foil, cool card. Not an especially playable card. Also, this art. <laughs> this is one of the special treatments where the special treatment art's actually, I believe last time I checked, cheaper than the original. People don't really like this little coin thing to represent their massive dinosaur. It just doesn't look like a big dinosaur, so <laughs> it's actually less popular. And last one. Ooh, wow, okay. I mean, we get a cool treatment. A Modi Celebrant of Bounty. Only an uncommon, so not especially valuable, but a neat looking version. I would play this version if I had an Emoti Commander deck. Well, nothing of super high value in our little bonus booster. So what are we doing? What's the order of these boosters? So I think when it comes down to it, I think Commander Master has got to be last. Bloomborough, March of the Machines, maybe something like that. Let's do Bloomborough first. So when it comes down to it, so this is a Bloomborough play booster. Who knows what we could get in here. Um, I feel like this product's probably a reasonable buy assuming assuming you want the the precon deck if you can get use out of the precon the thing is the value of the precon on the secondary market is not really that high i mean unless you can somehow sell the 25 cent cards for 25 cents which isn't realistic but like the value on the secondary market isn't super high but you could just sell the deck sealed for like 35 bucks so that's a pretty big chunk there let's see what we get our pack here our bloomboro pack uh might of the meek starlet suits there High Stride, Dazzling Denial, Roar, Intrepid Rabbit, Bumble Flower, Sharepot, Tepes Angler, Herbalist, Wix Patrol, very good limited card. I like this card in limited quite a bit. Um, Star Charter, Little Bat Cleric, Tide Caller, Mentor, Ooh, Valley Might Caller, Valley Might Caller. Uh, I don't think it has much value, but it is a very good one drop for the Frog deck. It gets big very fast. The Frog Champion of the Perished. A Plains, the Bloom Barrel Lands do look nice. Harnesser of Storms. Whenever you cast a non-creature outer spell, exit top your library into your turn, you can play it only once each turn. And, well, Tender Wild Guide. I don't mind getting the Offspring tokens. They're nice to have around in case you play the Offspring card. So, eh, okay, okay, fine, I guess. Booster, nothing to get super excited about value-wise. I think if we whiff on boosters, <laughs> it really depends on these boosters. If we whiff on the boosters then I think we would have been better off just buying the Commander Breach. Ooh, Yargle. <laughs> it's Yargle Day. A Yargle, a Yargle, Yar Yargle. Oops, I saw the last card. Yargle Art card. Uh, what do we get in this March of the Machines booster? Uh, commons, uncommon, uncommon, common. Ooh, wait, flip it around. Battles. Remember when battles were super hyped and then they flopped? <laughs> I wonder if they bring them back. I think they said they're going... Ooh, another battle. I think they said they're going to, although... I don't know. They did not play very well the first time. Zada, the fancy version. One of the most interesting commanders, unique commanders. Arata, Coalition Warlord. Kroxa in Kunro. So we got a Mythic out of the pack. I was actually pretty hyped about this card. I thought this card could be a good reanimation piece in Standard. 
like six mana to reanimate, you're paying a tax, but you get the upside that you get this massive creature, but it turns out no one wants to pay the tax. They just they just play the other reanimation and Wow, the emoti, the emoti box. This box really wanted to make sure that we had uh, plenty of emotis. This one is foil, unlike, wait, was the first one foil? Oh, it was foil. How do we get two of those out of this, <laughs> out of this product? All right, well, it all comes down to this. This is the big money pack, Commander Masters. It is sadly only a set booster, but let's crack open this Commander Masters booster and see if we can find Jeweled Lotus. I think that's the, the big one. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Probably not a Jeweled Lotus. We, I mean, actually, Jeweled Lotus is probably still the most one of the most expensive cards in the set. Uh, what do we get here? An Art Guard. Mm-hmm. And, oh, this is the back. Wait, is this, this shouldn't be the rare, right? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so we get a Dwarven Miner. I feel like this card's pretty sweet. Three mana tap to destroy nine basic on a two drop is actually pretty, you play this on two, can activate it on turn three. It's like a repeatable stone rain for non-basics. Fellwares do in foil. Scythe Claw. All right. Not the best rare, but maybe we'll get more. Shikiko, Mother of Summer. If you want to play some snakes, uh, it does it does make a lot of mana. Ooh, Flirtazami, Lady of Scrolls. That is a sweet looking. The art on the profile cards does look really good. I feel like these profile arts were designed specifically to be people's commanders. Like if you're playing this as your commander, this is a perfect art for it. Uh, not very valuable, though. Mau, loyal companion. Gore-Tex, extinguish all hopes. Ether Gale, got a lot in the comments, and then these are just, well, Throne of the Black Rose. The Monarch, I don't think it's valuable in paper, but it does see, ooh, Vector Fiction, and uh, Old Border Plains. Uh, Throne of the Black, Ro Black Rose does see some some play in Pauper. Hmm. So what do we what do we make of this product? Is it worth buying Magic at Costco? And I think what it comes down to, like, so we got the commander pre-con, which is sweet. It's always nice to have a commander pre-con. Uh, there are a handful of good cards in the commander pre-con. Sadly, our booster packs didn't really have anything of value. Although that's just the downside of opening booster packs, right? Sometimes you're going to get value. Sometimes you're not going to get value. I would say if I wanted the the commander precon, if I was like, you know what, I want this commander precon, I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna play with it, whatever, then I think this is a a fine buy. Like you're paying a bit more for the commander precon, but you're getting that back in the form of promos and boosters. So I think it's a good deal if you want the Sadar Jabari deck. On the other hand, is it worth it just for value? If you're just like, I wanna build my collection. Uh, then it's probably not. Because the problem is, if you don't want the Siddhar Jabari deck, the cards in that deck just aren't worth enough for uh, for it to make up for for the cost of the product, right? We're getting, if you're playing the deck, it's a great deal at like 35 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever we consider the price to be. On the other hand, if you're not playing the deck and you're gonna try to trade the cards away or sell them or whatever, it's only like maybe $20 of realistic value. Probably not even that once you consider, you know, shipping and buy listing and all that stuff. So I would say it's a good product if you want the commander pre-con, but then you're mostly just gambling on the booster packs. And if you get lucky with the booster packs, obviously it can be really good. Uh, we did not get lucky on the booster packs, but you know, we got some cards for our collection, which is cool, some good art, so that's nice. So I think that's the that's my final my final take on this. If you want the Commander Precon, go to Costco, pick it up, because you're getting a good deal on the Commander Precon. You're paying basically the same price you would pay online, plus like five bucks or something, but you're getting all these boosters and promos on top of it. If you don't care about the Precon, yeah, you're probably better off just buying singles or whatever if you're not going to play Sajar Dabari. But anyway, that is Costco Magic. <laughs> Those are the new Deluxe Commander kits. Let me know what you think. If you picked any of these up, you think they're worth buying, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you need any of the cards we opened today, you can stay from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash Goldfish. And if you need to sell any of your cards, ship them on off to Card Condo. It's fast and easy and the best way to sell your cards without a lot of work. So anyway, thank Thanks for watching everyone that is magic from costco hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll be back with another one of the future until then have an amazing day and i will talk to you soon looking for even more magic well check out our dust morn box opening here or maybe the one where i bought a collection from someone who slid into my dms